Welcome to a new lesson of the course. In this lesson we are going to use again the LCD. In this lesson you are going to use the potentiometer and LCD modules. You are going to show on the LCD some custom characters. One of them, a man, will be animated. He will put down and up the arms at a speed set by the potentiometer. By rotating the potentiometer you will change the speed of the movement. Connect the LCD to any of the I2C connectors. Connect the potentiometer to the analog input A0. As in the previous lesson, include the libraries needed for the I2C communication, wired.h, and for the control of the LCD, RGB LCD.h. Declare a variable called LCD of type RGB LCD to control the display. With an array called Smiley, you define a custom character that show two eyes and one smile. The array contains eight numbers of 8 bit size written in binary with OB at the beginning, although you will use only 5 bits. Those 5 bits describe the pixels that are on on each row. On the first and second rows, all pixels are off, so the first two numbers of the array are 0. The third row has the eyes, so you must turn on two pixels by setting a 1 at those positions. The following two rows are off, so the following two numbers are 0. For the smile you need to activate some pixels. Finally, the last row is off, it will be zero. In the same way are defined the characters heart, frowny, arms down and arms up. The size, 16 columns and 2 rows, is configured by calling the method lcd.begin. With the method lcd.createChar, you create the characters. The first parameter is the identifier on the character that later you will use, and the second the array used to define the pixels that are on. You set the cursor at the initial position, top left, and display the text I. You show the heart by using the method lcd.write and the identifier that you set when you created the character with the method createChar, a0. You print the text Arduino. Finally, you print the smiley with the method lcd.write and the identifier 1. You read the value of the potentiometer with the function analog read and store it to the variable sensor reading. The pace of the movement of the arms is set by the variable delay time in milliseconds. For that, the function map is used to convert the value from the potentiometer from 0 to 1023 to a value in the range 200-1000 milliseconds. You show the man with the arms down at the second row, column 4. You wait for the time in milliseconds set by the variable delay time. The man with arms up is displayed at the same position. And wait for delay time milliseconds. 